Live from the Cactus Creek at Ibri, he is the king of prime time, Ghana's undisputed entertainment laureate, and still the youngest old man in Ghana. Put your hands together, show some love for the indefatigable KSM. The KSM Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, I mean, I'm very, very elated to be here, and uh, especially the man I'm going to be talking to, I call him Triple A. But when I introduce you him later, you know why I call him Triple A. Show some love. Eh? <laughs> anyway, 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 um, Ghana is going through quite a bit. You know, most of the times in my openings, I, I like to take it light and create laughter and all. But for today. I don't want to create laughter because there's no laughter to be created, man. Unfortunately for our country, we have hit a pit. And it's a deep pit. And Ghana, if you will, we are sort of bankrupt. And you've all heard about it. This is nothing new to all of you. You know, you've heard about haircuts. You've heard about investors and problems that are coming and everything. And I kept thinking, I'll be inviting my guests very soon. But let me come to this guy, I kept thinking, Charlie, in countries across the world, every now and then there is crisis. This is not the first time any country in the world has gone through crisis. Yeah, they know financial crisis, but what I'm saying is that when, when they go through crisis, they have a way of mobilizing the people, getting the support of the people, and together, that's the key word, together we fight the crisis. Somehow in Ghana, I will be, you know, it is almost as if the government has a way to deal with this crisis and the people that have been affected by the crisis are just being told how they have been affected, but it doesn't matter. This is the plan that the government has to get out of the crisis, you know. And of late, there's been so much talking. I don't know, I don't want to say anything, and you know what I'm talking about, you know people are starting to agitate. On the 16th was supposed to be the deadline for people to refill their forms on whether they want to go with the domestic debt uh, exchange and the, the response was so low. But let me put all of that aside. Today I'm happy to have in the house the man I call AAA, but his real name is Dr. Anani Edu NG. Show him some love. Now, he is the convener of the Pensioner Bondholders Forum. And he is sort of stating that, wait a minute, small Ghana, uh, sorry, government, put a break. We have to have some dialogue here. Talk to the stakeholders. Let me keep quiet now because he's in the house. And I want you to come and explain to us what is going on because he has a great background anyway in banking and in finance. He's a lawyer, he's a lecturer, he's lectured law, he's lectured business. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Let us welcome Dr. Enchi. <laughs> no, welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the show. Please, please, please have a seat. The doctor is here, show some love one more time. Yes. And as you know, we're going to take a short commercial break while we come back. The show is on. Stick around. We'll be right back. The KSM Show. Hey, what? Go left, left. Come, come. Straight, straight, straight. Push up. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, sorry, madam. I know, I know, see him. Give me to come back. You can't control what will happen, but you can control how you respond to what happens when it happens. Welcome to SIC Insurance. At SIC Insurance, we are always ready to come to your aid when the unfortunate happens. Call us today for your motor, accident, fire, burglary, travel insurances, and more. Or visit our website or any of our branches nationwide. SIC, our promises are sacred. Cactus Creek. It is no longer Ghana's best kept secret. It's an open secret. So serene, so heavenly, 
And the meals? Mm, mm, mm. Just like home cooking, Cactus Creek, your soul will thank you. you are Call our WhatsApp 055 039 Pulse Fitness Center, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Meet the indefatigable captain. There are three things that I love doing. Number one, workout. Number two, workout. Number three, workout. Workout put mind, soul, and body together. The captain has spoken. Bright lights, yeah, they make me dizzy, no go I just want the lizzy. It's a logo liggy, uptown chasing for the lizzy. Downtown, everybody busy, logo liggy. Like me, logo liggy. I just want the Paul's Fitness Center. Yeah. East Ligon Branch, Lizzie Sports Complex, I Cotton really Street, East Ligon, Accra, Ghana, 0302-519-675, Kumasi Branches, Officers oh. Mess Branch, Denyame, Major Kobina Drive, Kumasi, 0541-871-602, Golden Tulip, Kumasi City Branch, Rain Tree Street, 0322-492-647, Pulse, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Pa Essentials has good news for you. If you're in Takradi and its environs, don't worry. You can pick up a Zipa Essentials jacket at Ruler Unisex Boutique in Anaji, Takradi, Queen of Peace in Taco Full Road. Call or WhatsApp 0544 5484766. KSM show. Thank you, folks. Thank you. So, in the house, I told you we have Mr. Edu Anani Entry and Triple uh, A. He's a convener of the Pensioner Bondholders Forum, and he's here with us today. Doctor, welcome to the show. Thank you. And let, let me let me start by appreciating you taking time out to come here because it was really, really, really yes. much pressure yes. on your I, part. I, so, I, I, I couldn't even imagine since. Morning, the calls. I know, after, especially when we realized that we were going to have a press conference. Yes, today. yes, yes, and, then, and I'm sure the calls will keep coming. Yes, yes. So, uh, so let's let's get right into it, Doctor. Yes. yes. Um, you know, people have said, and let me hear what you think. That generally, the middle class in Ghana is sort of laid back a bit, to a large extent. You know, we they, they are not noisy. They are very quiet, and the. the Big, one of the big surprises was, wow, finally, it seems as if some individuals with a middle class background have gotten up and they are sort of leading the charge, or they are, become, in your case, yes. the convener. Yeah. What, what inspired you to actually speak up and say, no, wait here, I have to say something? When this uh, exchange program came, initially, the government exempted uh, individuals, so I was happy. Uh, I had traveled outside on the 19th. Then somewhere around the uh, 30th, there about, that is last uh, December, I got uh, some messages from WhatsApp that government has issued a new, uh, amended the, the invitation <coughs> and has now included the individuals and rather exempted the pension funds. Uh, you know, the, the, the labor uh, groups were fighting against uh, government for including the pension funds uh, in, the, in the whole package. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the uh, reason was that don't impair the funds that we are going to uh, fall on when we go on retirement. So government also uh, said, well, that makes sense. Uh, I don't want your future uh, to be that impaired mm -hmm. for you to mm -hmm. go on retirement and not get the right uh, amounts to go uh, to deal with your issues. So when I got the material, I studied it well, as a uh, uh, capital market uh, operator. 
and uh, uh, regulator, uh, at least uh, these are things that you are familiar with. I studied, and then I realized that I needed to let people understand the document. So uh, one evening, I made a WhatsApp uh, message that I was inviting people to join Zoom for me to take them through the mm. document to mm. see. The document is there, but if it were not uh, uh, quite uh, professional in the industry, you may yeah. not understand yeah. the document well. So I took them through uh, WhatsApp. Uh, uh, I call it understanding the domestic debt uh, exchange uh, invitation. And then the next day, I said, well, now if uh, government has exempted uh, pension funds, uh, from the, the, the exchange, mm -hmm. and has included uh, all individuals, then I think people who are on pension should have also been exempted from uh, the exchange. The reason being if you wanted to uh, prevent people who are going to come uh, on pension, you don't want to impair the amount that they are going to use uh, on their retirement, then why do you impair the amount that already people are using Mm -hmm. uh, while they are on retirement, this is the money they are using to buy their drugs, especially medication. As you are growing, I always say it's like uh, God send you some invitation, import licenses, and that import license you use to import only sicknesses. <laughs> Every day, one form or another sickness comes, and you have to uh, care for it. And so if you have exempted these people, then you should have exempted those people. Mm -hmm. So I put it on the WhatsApp again platform that people are on and ask them to circulate to wherever they, uh, they, can, they, they can reach. It was simple that uh, public note, important notice, uh, people who are above 60 and are holding government bonds uh, should contact me for an important uh, mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. So the first day, when you contact me, because I was outside, you could only reach me by WhatsApp. When I get your WhatsApp, I say, I've heard this thing on the social media that you should contact you. I say yes. Then I've already done one message that I sent back. I described myself. My name is Dr. Du A. Entry, former Director General of Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, I'm a lawyer and a chartered accountant. Uh, so that people who don't feel somebody is trying to yeah, do that. Yeah. So at least a short, yeah. <laughs> a short statement there and say, well, I'm trying to, I've created a, a platform and I'm, I'm creating this forum. Uh, to be able to petition the government to exempt uh, pensioners who are holding government bonds from this uh, uh, exchange. So if this message reaches you and uh, you are not a pensioner, uh, you can take your name off. Mm -hmm. Or you don't hold bonds, you can, can take, take your, your name, name off. off. But once you're a pensioner, so pensioner you hold bonds, and you hold bonds, then, then, then it affects you directly. Yeah. So the, the first day, I enrolled about 100 uh, people on the platform. The second day, I also enrolled. So I was getting to about uh, 200. So the third day, I said, I must draft a petition to, to government. So I drafted a petition. I signed it electronically, uh, sent it to Ghana for them to deliver. But that was a Saturday. And the Sunday was not a working day. And uh, Monday was also not a working uh, a day. So. Sunday, I got the Minister of Finance's mm. uh, email address on some of the public mm -hmm. uh, uh, statements they have been issuing. So I picked the telephone, the email address, and sent the email to them and said a copy, a hard copy, will be delivered on the next working day, which was a Tuesday. So the Tuesday, they were able to deliver the petition, uh, and the copy also was sent to the president. Then I realized that I need to have a, a, a press conference to let the world, the Ghana, especially these retirees who are. Yeah, before we get to the press conference, did you get any response to the petition? No, no, the petition was sent Tuesday. So okay. I, it was, I, I, at that time, I was still living in the UK. Okay. Uh, then I heard uh, that I must come down because there's a need for a press conference. I was supposed to come down 24th. But I had to change my flight. Very uh, difficult to do that. But I changed the flight uh, with some cost. But some friends mm -hmm. promised that they would help me uh, deal with the extra cost for returning. So at that time, I was in the Scotland. I was visiting my child here. So I had to. You cut it short. Cut, cut it came short. back, yeah. And came back. I had to 
go through Milton King because that was where I was. I had some few items there and come back to London before uh, coming. But I, I met some uh, serious troubles. Whilst I was coming from, uh, I took a National Express from Scotland and I have landed in the Milton King trying to pack my things so that the next morning I can come to London. Uh, I wanted to take, fill some uh, document on, online. Then I realized my passport was not with me. Oh, wow. I've lost my passport. You've lost it? Then I said, <laughs> I, I, too, I called my son in, the, in Scotland that the, 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 the wife, say, they say they saw the passport at the back of my laptop. So, you know, the children, he has a, a six-year-old and a three-year-old. So I said, maybe the two-year-old might have taken the passport. The passport. They searched for everywhere, Ooh. including in the dustbin, whether the guy, the lady, the small girl might have dropped it inside. They searched, 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 search. they wake uh, this uh, small, small girl up, uh, small girl up, show a passport to him. Have you taken <laughs> grandpa or something? Yeah. Then I realized uh, the thing was not in the, was not left in the room. They didn't pick it. Wow. Up. So early, uh, about 2 o'clock, this was that we have kept awake to about 11, 12, searching and we couldn't get so well. I tried to uh, rest more for about two hours, woke up, and uh, went to pick a train from the thinking to London early enough, mm -hmm. trying to go to the Ghana Embassy to try and get uh, uh, what the... Let's that pass something. So that yeah. I, can, I can come. Then when I got to London, the, my nephew was there, and it says he was going to call one of the staff in the, who works there. At the embassy. At the embassy, so that they can, when I get there, they can do it fast that day for me to travel the next day. Wow. And be able to come for this uh, press conference. He called the embassy, and unfortunately, they say this is, today is a holiday in Ghana, so we are also not working. <laughs> <laughs> then say, wow. Then, then I'm stuck. So we were just thinking, what can you use to come to, uh, to Ghana? And so I decided to go searching for this passport. I came to uh, the National Express office, head office, trying to see whether when they were sweeping, clearing the buses, they might have seen something there. Uh, it was, and they say it would take them some time before. So after I have filed this report, I should go and uh, about, uh, a week or so, they will see you there. I said, look, I have to travel. I have to be leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow. And some people say, well, you can use your uh, Ghana card to travel. I say, I'm not too sure, but they say you can use it. And that means uh, if you have that, uh, Ghana, this, uh, I was told it's only these people who take uh, British Airways. I don't know whether that was true or not. So as we were uh, debating, how do you get there, how do you get Then I had a call from my brother from Ghana here. That somebody called him from US, UK, that you've, uh, we have found your passport. passport. Mm -hmm. And then my brother said, I'm in Ghana, having trouble. How can you <laughs> find, find my, my passport. passport? Then according to my brother, I said, uh, you think I'm a, a froster? Uh -huh. So I think the guy got annoyed and, uh, and he. Hung so, up. Yes, so my brother called me. And I said, okay, even initially, I didn't understand how directly you call. But later on, I realized that, oh, you are one of the contact persons in my passport. But the guy couldn't explain that we have found a passport and you are a contact. He thought he was the a, there. He yeah, was the, he was person, the owner. You know. And so I said, okay, then that is why the guy. So he texts the guys because he called. He called on WhatsApp. He texts the guys number to me. Then we started calling this guy for about six hours. This guy will not pick the call. Yes, I send messages, he wouldn't respond. So now it was like, what do I do? Uh, I can't come to Ghana the next day. So whilst I was going back from the station home, uh, then I, I got a call from my daughter. He's a lawyer, he's uh, in Kumasi. Uh, that uh, he has gotten a call that they have found my passport, passport. at Milton King. Uh, so I, I said, thank God. So instead of going home, I had to, it was very getting close, very night. Uh, in so I took train again. To Milton Keynes. To Milton Keynes. And then uh, got my passport and came back to London 
around 12.30 to just take a, a short uh, rest and wake up in the morning to come to Ghana. Wow. To be able to... <laughs> <laughs> to wow, that's a close shave. To, yes, to, to do this conference. Press conference. And, and when I was coming, there was a letter to be sent to the minister uh, to ask for a meeting. The earlier one was sent uh, on the on, on Tuesday, and when I arrived uh, in the morning, I have to do a lot. Uh, have to do a letter to the minister asking for uh, the minister to find time to to meet with us. So I did a lot. The letter in, early in the morning, trying to uh, send it to the minister before coming to the uh, the press conference. Mm -hmm. Then as I I I, I, I move and and hit uh, my Teshi Street. Before I realized, somebody has come to hit my back. Wow. Accident. Ooh. I said, oh, what is this? I'm, also, I'm rushing to go and Does deliver it? this letter and rush to the press conference. I mean, my car is involved in an accident just like that. So I had to just uh, take the pictures of the guy's uh, uh, licenses and others. And say, the police people came and said, I won't have time to do anything at all. He has damaged my car. B b big damage at the, back, at the back, but let me go because I am running late. I, I to must go to, go to, to this conference. place, deliver the letter before I go to the press conference so that I can announce that a letter has been delivered. So I went to the, com the press conference that uh, Wednesday and announced to the whole world that this is what we are doing. We have petitioned the government to exempt pensioners from the exchange uh, on the basis of the same reasoning behind the exemption of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, pension funds. While I was doing this, while I was in the UK and doing this, many people will contact you and say, we are not 60, but we also are born. I say, look, the method I'm using, the argument I'm making, I don't want to put you inside. So uh, you can also talk to other people. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. I have a friend who, when he got my message, he came back, and that is lawyer Kwebu Martin. And he said, well, some people have come to see him that they want to do a class action. Uh, but they are mixed. It's not only, uh, so they are trying to get the numbers. If they get, uh, if they don't get, he will let the retirees among them to join me. And I say, well, I'm dealing with only right retirees. So if anybody comes to me uh, to join this forum, I'll let that person come and see you if they are interested in uh, protecting themselves through that angle. So whilst when I came, I realized uh, he has also uh, mobilized some people uh, and uh, trying to do some class action. I said, that is fine. And then the day I uh, we were going to have the press conference, I also realized that there's another new uh, forum. They call themselves Ghana Individual Bond Holders mm -hmm, Forum, mm -hmm. who has also organized it. Well, I said, well, that is good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it, it keeps us, even though I started with uh, pensioners because that is where I thought yes. there was that chance, opportunity for me to do that. And I couldn't get the basis of coming out to say um, uh, the whole uh, bondholders uh, exempt them. But I, 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 read, I felt that once you start something along this line, others who are not coming under your umbrella we also think mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. what do we also do if we can't be part of this part uh, of uh, pensioners forum, what do we, we do? Then uh, at least they too uh, were, were able to also organize themselves. And, and the whole thing started and uh, now it has come to this level. Wow, wow. How much pressure do you feel from the members who have registered in bulk Having invested so much trust that you are yes. going to get some things it's, done, it's, see, what is the, the... The good thing about what I started doing was that uh, as soon as they, they hear that he's a former director general of SEC, yes. Yes. then they say, this is, the, this is the guy who can do what we want for us. We understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. And so everybody uh, hears that and they want to uh, come on board. Mm -hmm. You call and say, just text me your name. Uh, as soon mm -hmm, as you test your mm -hmm. name, I put you on the mm -hmm. platform mm -hmm. so that you can be part of how we are discussing yeah. issues. We want to do this, yeah. we want to do that. You are part of it. Yeah. And they share stories, uh, you know, uh, the way they are struggling uh, to make life uh, uh, meet, meet, and then all these things coming in. 
to uh, destroy uh, whatever they have, they have uh, saved yeah. and, and, yeah. and we're using for. And, and viewers, I want you to forgive me because I think a very, very, very important part of the introduction should have been that is a former Director General of SEC, you know, and that's the Security Exchange Commission. And that alone shows that you have an understanding yes. of what is going, going on, on and your grasp of it is really, yeah. really, really yeah. uh, something people don't want to joke with. Yes. And I believe he's playing a very, very strong role in your ability to mobilize yeah. Yeah. all these numbers yeah. of people this soon. Yeah. We're going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, we're going to take it from there. Stick around. Folks, Triple A is in the house. Let's take a short commercial break. When we come back, the discussion will continue. <laughs> KSM Show. Hey, what? Go left, left. Come, come. Straight, straight, straight. Push up. Uh -huh. Hey, yo, hey, hey. Oh, oh, sorry, madam. I know, I know, see him. You, you can't ask me to come back. You can't control what will happen, but you can control how you respond to what happens when it happens. Welcome to SIC Insurance. At SIC Insurance, we are always ready to come to your aid when the unfortunate happens. Call us today for your motor, accident, fire, burglary, travel insurances, and more. Or visit our website or any of our branches nationwide. SIC, our promises are sacred. Cactus Creek. It is no longer Ghana's best kept secret. It's an open secret. So serene, so heavenly. And the meals? Mm, mm, mm. Just like home cooking. Cactus Creek. Your soul will thank you. you are Call our WhatsApp 055 039 Pulse Fitness Center, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. Meet the indefatigable captain. There are three things that I love doing. Number one, workout. Number two, workout. Number three, workout. Workout put mind, soul, and body together. The captain has spoken. Bright lights, yeah, they make me dizzy, logo liggy. I just want the lizzy. It's a logo liggy. Uptown chasing for the lizzy. Downtown, everybody busy, logo liggy. Life be logo liggy. I just want the paper. Pulse Fitness Center. Yeah. East Legon Branch, Lizzie Sports Complex, I Cotton really Street, East Legon, Accra, Ghana, 0302 519675. Kumasi Branches, Officers Mess Branch, Denyame, Major Kobina Drive, Kumasi, 0541 871 602. Golden Tulip, Kumasi City Branch, Rain Tree Street, 0322 492 647. Pulse, the premier destination for fitness in Ghana. As the part essentials has good news for you. If you're in Takradi and its environs, don't worry. You can pick up as the part essentials jacket at Ruler Unisex Boutique in Anaji, Takradi, Queen of Peace in Taco Four Road. Call or WhatsApp 0544 5 ASM show. Yes, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. And um, Dr. it's interesting what you, what you went through to get here. Yes. Just for the benefit of those watching us, um, I'm sure they are very interested in the story because anybody I bring here, they, they know there's a story in here. The person is here. Can you just take a few seconds to explain this whole bond, this haircut thing, why you have said this all, you're convening all of this, for people to understand what is going on. In a few minutes, then we can go well, on Well, the whole arrangement has come about because government uh, debts has become unsustainable. Okay. Which means government has borrowed so much and uh, ability to pay is impaired. 
And that is what has taken us. We are going to default on the payment of interest and also uh, the principal amount. So when a nation gets to that level, uh, we call what we call sovereign debt default and restructuring. Mm. You are going to default the sovereign, the sovereign which is the state. The state. It's now going to default. So what you have to do is to restructure. Restructure. Restructuring will, will mean that sometimes uh, you tell the uh, people who, who you, you have taken the money from and say, well, you have given me so much, but I can pay you so less. Uh, that's what sometimes they, they, they technically is called a haircut. I borrowed uh, one million from you, mm -hmm. but I can only, uh, please, I'm tight, so let me give you 800, or let me give you 700. So mm -hmm. part of the money That's you what give called the haircut. haircut. Yeah. Part of the money that you have given uh, government is gone. You are taking part, and uh, you are not going to get that. It also can involve uh, cut in, uh, in interest rate that look, I'm getting so much, I'm paying so much interest on. Even what I have agreed to pay you, I will still want to pay you less interest than I was paying previously. Then the third uh, 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 method which is involved, all the three can be used at the same time, is uh, extension of the duration period. Look, this thing, I should have given you back your money two years' time, but now I will give it to you five years' time or six years' time. So that is what's the basic thing that is involved in this restructuring. So that is what happened to us, and government has to go through this and do the restructuring. It is how we are doing this restructuring that has created, created the these, uh, yeah. when previously uh, individual bondholders were exempted, and then later on the, uh, the pension funds which were uh, involved uh, rules against it, labor said no, we won't agree for you to touch the money, our future money, the money that we are going to use when we are on retirement, please don't touch it. And so the government uh, exempted them. And then not rather rope in individuals who had already been told that they will not be part of the, of the program. But I, I believe as a result of the pension funds uh, going out, there was a, a, a hole and government need to fill it by roping in the individuals that had, government had already promised that they will not be, be a part of it. Yeah. And that is where I, I started my uh, issues to read, read through the line and say, well, if you have invested funds that are supposed to be given to people who will go on pension because you don't want to impair their pension life so that they can at least live uh, normal life, not going to the street to be begging, not calling their children, bring me, yeah. if you don't bring me medicine, my high blood pressure has gone up, I can't buy. Then what about the people who are currently on retirement mm -hmm. and they are also using their money to invest in your bonds and you, won't, you, you, you are going to uh, uh, put them in the, uh, in, in the program. That is not fair to uh, these people. So I started yeah. the whole thing uh, using that basis. And yeah. then yeah. other people also uh, joined to also fight for their rights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in a nutshell, it's like uh, what you have invested in and the, 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 the reason for that investment that one day you can retire, you can retire and peacefully fully. and the returns the will come will and take care of you. Care of you. The government is saying, we are no, holding no, those yes, returns. We can't give you that. We can't give you, yes. yeah. So I'm hoping that people now have a gist of what is going on and they understand it much, much better. So having said that, um, Dr. Henry, um, now the, the expiration date has been extended to the 31st. What yeah. in your view are the best possible options that will happen of the 31st. Are they now, government going to say, okay, we are ready to sit down with you stakeholders. So you stakeholders come in and direct the flow of our actions, or they're going to tell you, this is what we have to do, and that's it. Do you have well, any? Well, well I, as, I, as I said, uh, when you don't have the means to pay your debt, you have to restructure. But if you are restructuring, you must engage your creditors. The people you owe, that you can't pay. Everybody knows that mm -hmm. even locally, if somebody, you owe somebody and at the time can say, one man time I'll bring it. The man ends and you are not bringing it. You must go and tell the man, I'm, I'm sorry, 
as a result of ABC, I can't pay you this, but can you please give me some one week or two weeks? So it's negotiation. So if you cannot meet your debts, you must uh, meet with your creditors and negotiate, propose something to them. Let them discuss it. They will say, well, this is too much. You will mm -hmm. not be able to. Are you suggesting there's been no negotiation? I, I, I don't know of uh, maybe from where I'm sitting, I'm not involved in it. But I'm saying why I, 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 I say there is, I, I keep on saying negotiation is that people, after the, the first, uh, after the program has come out, a lot of uh, stakeholders came out to say they don't agree to the program in this form. Mm -hmm. So if anybody comes to say that, and one of the groups was my own security industry association. It's an association when I was in office, tried to bring them up to be able to do what they are supposed to do. They came out to say, we are not going to accept it in this form. In this form, yeah. You are there, you hear another person say, we are not going to accept it in this form. Then mm -hmm. when I put this in together, I say, ah, then why? If you were all consulted, would you mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. come out to say, mm -hmm. I will not uh, uh, mm -hmm. accept it? So uh, I use yeah. that, that I, uh, the assumption is that, well, if people are saying, I'm not going to accept, I'm not going to accept, then it means yeah. they were not involved in the, in the process. process of consultation. Yeah. Yeah. And at least I know that as far as uh, individual bondholders, I haven't heard anything like, because I would have uh, I had the sense that government has uh, mm -hmm. maybe called uh, individual bondholders for a meeting, and uh, sometimes uh, people were asking me, how do you expect government to call? I said, well, we have done uh, economic, dia uh, for, uh, economic dialogue before in Ghana uh, during uh, uh, President Kufo's time. There was a national economic dialogue. Mm -hmm. We met at the conference center. Uh, so that, so, yeah. Yes, a number of people, uh, traders, uh, builders, engineers, everything. Then we discuss and see where the government should go. So mm -hmm. you could have used the same uh, yeah. method to just say, you yeah. want to meet uh, people who have invested okay. in government bonds. No, and we could to, have come there and, yeah. and Not to cut ideas. you, but as you said, most of the blocks, their resistance is based on the fact that, as it is now, we cannot accept, accept it in this form. In this form. So uh, what form will be for you, uh, convener of the yes, as what for, form would you accept for us as pensioners? We want to be treated the way uh, pension funds were treated, or the way people who are yet funds that belongs to people who are yet to come on pension has been treated. We are also saying that we to the funds that we have used, we have uh, we are using whilst we are on pension exempted for so for hours. It is just that we want the same treatment. I mm -hmm. always say, uh, in Akan, in, in there's an adage, and it's not a bro, and it's not a dog. If you are treating maize this way, then protect the, the, the king ketu. I, I, I use corn for, or maize for the ones that are being kept, mm -hmm. yet to be given to workers to come on pension. And the, the, the kinky is ours that has already been given to us, ready to be used. So if the funds that are yet to be given to workers who will be coming on pensions, you say you don't want to disturb them so that when they come on pension, pension yeah. they can live a little uh, so that they will not be a burden on society, going to beg, going to stay here mm. to, to get. Mm. Then those of us who are already also on pensions, the small money we have also gotten, and we didn't use, use it, we didn't send it to anybody than our, to our own government that use it for your development programs, mm -hmm. and then we can get interest, interest from it yeah. possible. Then why are you also treating us like that? Because mm. if you are protecting uh, your unborn child, you don't neglect the one you have born before. Mm. The one that is there, you don't say I'm protecting the one that I'm yet to born but the one that you have already given birth, you are going to treat it to die? No. As you are protecting the <laughs> unborn child, you also protect the one you have already given mm -hmm. birth to. Mm -hmm. This is a simple issue that I have. And so if we are coming from that angle, it is difficult for people to argue why it should not be like that. And so 
For us, it is the exemption we want to be a par with pensions fund. Okay. The rest, they think, I think that if you give them uh, a reasonably fair uh, curbs, they would accept everywhere that is how it is done, except that through negotiation. The creditors will say, oh, we think that I should do it this way. Government will say, no, no, I can't do it this way. I think, and they, when they talk, 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 at the end of the day, they will agree on certain uh, uh, points that will inform mm -hmm. the document that you are issuing. So as soon as you, you issue this out, everybody has already agreed mm -hmm. that this is how it will go. So there will be no need somebody going to say, I won't agree. Mm -hmm. It can come to a time that, especially the international foreign ones, that you may have somebody, we normally call them the holdouts, who will say, as for us, we need everything that we, need, uh, we have given you. And that happened in Argentina case, where two fund managers who said, we don't agree with your restructuring uh, uh, offer. We are demanding what is due to us. Mm. And that resulted in the seizure of an Argentinian never vessel was seized in Ghana here. And uh, because the Argentina government has uh, defaulted, uh, it was later on that they have to go through so many this thing to get it uh, released. So mm. the negotiation is, and I believe no, uh, if it is properly done, I don't think any Ghanaian will say, I won't agree and I'm going to court. Everybody will agree. This is our nation. We don't want the nation to be uh, uh, so destroy the nation or become a nation that nothing can be done. We want to solve the situation. But let's, let's have that negotiation. So I believe okay. so this time, when they do the negotiation with all these parties, including the individual bondholders and the institutional bondholders, they will come to uh, an agreement and the, the, the program can move forward. Mm -hmm. in, in your view, what kind of agreement do you think, or if you were advising uh, the finance ministry right now, or the president, what, yeah. based on your experience, yes. And you are you are quite knowledgeable when it comes to when it comes to sovereign debt yes, and yes, the negotiations. Yes. Based on your experience, what would you suggest? What, yeah, I, I what should they be doing differently? I have said that if, if I'm involved, one, I will look at the interest rates. Uh, I know that all the bonds outstanding, the interest rate, the lowest will be about seventeen point five, eighteen thereabout, and the highest, as I look at when government was still issuing. Uh, it was around 34 thereabout. So highest one 34, lower one about 18 or 17.5 percent. If you come down and say, look, I'm going to, even the lower interest rate, I'm going to bring it down to maybe 10 percent and use it across board for everybody. So people might have, there's 34 people who lose about uh, 25 uh, 22 difference and you get 10 because you are suffering and people will agree that okay 10% if you offer a 10% at least every uh, year or every six months something comes to the kitty so we talk you we are aiming at 10% if you if they agree with you 10% okay if they don't agree with you and you talk it up 10% fine then you also come to the uh, the maturity period the maturity period, I don't think, if I am uh, involved, what I would do is, if, let's say, a maximum of, and that also is per agreement with uh, negotiation with your creditors, I'll come up with maybe six years, five years, uh, maximum uh, extension. So that if your bond is uh, expiring, uh, uh, maturing this year, it will now expire maybe in next six years. If yours is expiring, next year, it will now expire next seven years, if we agree on five years. So everybody will go back a bit. You won't get your money now. We'll give you it in next five or six years. If you are we are going to get your money uh, tomorrow, we'll add the six years. So everybody will be waiting for a number of years. In, in that, when is that, the, the fairness is there. I'm waiting for four more years, five more years to get my maturity value. You are also waiting for five more years to get. Your brother is also waiting for five more years to get. 
So if your bond was supposed to mature, uh, let's say 2038, you will wait for four more years, we will be about in 2040 something. I, whose bond is supposed to mature to, uh, this year, and if we have agreed on five years, I'll wait for another five years before I get my uh, proceeds of my bonds. But at least in the uh, meantime, I'm getting some stream of interest, which uh, we are all have come together and say, well, uh, let's meet each other halfway, take this so that uh, some fiscal space will be freed for mm -hmm. the government mm -hmm. to operate. Okay, there are those who have argued, and I don't know that even if you look at the current budget, there is room in the budget to cut expenditure drastically to the extent that these haircuts or the, the levels of haircuts might not be necessary if the cuts are deep enough. And they say that there are avenues for these kind of cuts. Is that what you see? No, I, I don't know what informs those mm -hmm. figures. Okay. And if I don't know what informs those figures, I wouldn't say whether they are uh, uh, figures that are not mm -hmm. uh, the right figures or, or, or not. For example, if there is a figure there for contingency, as an accountant, I know why you provide for contingency, something that you haven't, uh, you don't expect to come, and it will come. Uh, for example, I think when they were doing the salaries, they hadn't finished salary negotiation. So those are coming from there. So until you get the details of these uh, figures, I wouldn't, as, uh, as an accountant, See if, if I, I put my heart on as an mm, accountant, mm. I wouldn't say this is low, or high until I know what is making up the details of that. Mm -hmm. For example, people have talked about uh, capital expenditure, and we know that sometimes you may even provide for capital expenditure, but you are not going to incur any fresh projects. You are not going to spend on any, fr uh, but you are going to pay for uh, areas that you have already incurred. That's, that's still the capital expenditure, because some people have done work for you and you haven't paid. So until uh, some of us, until we get as mm. finance guys, until we see the details of those figures, mm. we can't say if you cut it, you can cut it and, uh, and do that. Okay. So that, that, that's why I, I, okay. I, I, I don't. But yeah. people who are saying that, I don't know what they the, know, what they know <laughs> that because of that they can yeah, uh, yeah. possibly well, say. Generally, that. what's your reaction to the whole thing and the way that? this has been complicated, you know? It's almost like, even when the banks wrote to people and told them to sign these forms, people call the banks and ask for details, and the bank says, we yes. ourselves as banks, we don't, we don't have the details. Yes. What's your reaction to yeah, how the, the whole that, thing? That, that's, that's the whole, it's the whole process of the, the uh, negotiation and consultation. People would have, uh, if there has been that, uh, detailed discussion and uh, negotiation and people will even carry the messages to if the people that are going to uh, under, help people. I can say it because when I took people through this document, I realized that uh, no matter how you say you know this, you know this, yeah. you didn't have any uh, uh, knowledge at all about the mm. real implication of that document that you are supposed to uh, uh, sign. So if people don't understand yeah, a yeah. document that they are signing, then perhaps the best defense is not to sign yeah. because you don't yeah. know whether you are yeah. signing your death yeah. warrant. And I know many people haven't signed. Yes. yes. So sometimes it's not that she doesn't like the, the process, but it, it doesn't understand. It's like an accounting. If you're accounting, you prepare accounting, and people don't understand the figures in the accounting, then if you put that accounting uh, mm. financial statement, mm. they can't make any, uh, uh, any way mm. out of that. Mm. So they will say, well, this one is too complex. We don't understand. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes if it is something that they could understand and uh, appreciate the thing, then they can say, oh, well, that is fine. But if you don't understand, you don't understand it then it is yeah. better. Your best defense is not to go there because it's like complex yeah. financial products yeah. that we advise investors. Okay. That there's a financial product you don't understand. Swaps, options, uh, derivatives, you don't understand. If you don't understand, why do you go in to buy the security? You don't understand. So if you don't understand, you keep out of that security. Yeah. You don't go. So it's the yeah. same thing happens here. Mm -hmm. That people did not understand the document that has been uh, 
uh, posted to them. And yes. therefore, your best yes. defense and is And sadly, is some banks, um, yes. in most cases, they couldn't even explain, explain. the details yes. of yes. it. Yes. So which that's, is, that's, yeah. that's the way. Our that's time is really almost at the end, as unfortunately. Um, so let me, let me, if you can take 30 seconds to answer this question before the final okay. Do you think that perhaps this is some requirement from the IMF that these haircuts should come so that we can present them some homegrown ideas to, 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 to implement before they can release the money? Do you link the two in any well, way? Well, that is what happens. If you are, your debt has become unsustainable, you must do a restructuring to make it sustainable. Sustainable means you can service it. So if, for example, you have to take uh, 15 years and uh, you are not able to pay within the 15 years and it has now become 20 years or 25 years, it gives you space to be able to pay. Mm -hmm. If you have to pay 35% and you are, your interest rate comes to, let's say, 15, 12, at least, yeah. you, s you reserve, you conserve yeah. some amount that you are going to. So that is something that we have to do. Uh, to bring okay. our debts to uh, sustainable uh, levels. levels. So we yeah. don't have a qualm over that. that. That must be done. Okay. I think the, my, the my whole thing is uh, yeah. for investors. My final, final, final these, question, uh, so I can let you go because I know you're in a hurry. What if at the end of the day, there are going to be some stakeholders, consultations, everything, but at the end of the day, we go full cycle and come back to where we are now that no, this is what we have studied. This is the way to do it. That's it, take it or leave it. What, I what then? We, I think we haven't had that situation uh, anywhere around the world. Okay. Once you are negotiating, you always come to a, a, consensus. Compromise, a consensus. Yeah. It may not be good for investors totally. It may not be good for government totally. But you will find a way, a middle way of meeting and pushing the, the, this thing uh, ahead. So that one, it will happen, to happen. give and take. Okay. Uh, people would do because it's, this is our nation. We must save it. Yeah. Whatever it is, we must save it. If yeah. something has happened, we must save it. But how we discuss this and each one playing his, his or her role in the whole thing, what if happened? that is understood, yeah. I think we will, we will, yeah. we will move forward. So it's a lot, man. So it's a lot. So that's a hope, man. This is our nation. It is sinking into the Ebe Piano, what people have to do to keep it afloat, we will do. You know, I think the complaint has, been, has not been enough consultation, and there are too many stakeholders involved in this, and you can't ignore the stakeholders and make your decisions for them. So we have heard from uh, Dr. Andrew here, and his belief is that whatever happens, now that it's extended to the end of this month, there are going to be consultations, and at the end of the day, there's going to be mutual agreement so that we can all build this list together. No, thank you very much. I appreciate everything. <laughs> okay, folks. And then uh, we went a little bit technical. This is what is happening in this country now, and we must understand and at least help many people to understand what is going on. And so we have done our best to, 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 to do that. So until next week, when we come your way, Hopefully with something that is not as complicated. <laughs> well, it's not very complicated though. For people who have bought bonds, people who are retiring, they know exactly what we are talking about. From some of my crew members, I'm on top bonds that know. <laughs> it may not be something that you can easily flow with, but at the end of the day, Charlie, it shall be done. Doctor, thank you one more time. Thank Folks, you. until we meet next week, KSM signing off as I always do. We are out of, let the whole world say, yeah. yeah. yeah.